About a year ago I made a video on this channel called Changing Everything. Everything is gonna change. You might have noticed by now, because the big change will be that from now on all the videos on this channel will be in English. A year has passed and a lot of things happened and I went back to Dutch and I've learned a lot of things. And in this video I want to look back at the past year and look at what happened and why I changed back to Dutch and why I'm back to English now. It started when I made the decision to switch from Dutch to English. If you want to know exactly why and how that came about, uh, you can watch that video. One of the first videos I made in English was that I went to Canada to visit Ezzy and Jordi, good friends of mine, better known as Ezzyland and Quabble Cop. I'm shooting a music video. Yeah, she's shooting like her me. own music video. The first one ever, right? Yeah. And I've heard the song. <laughs> And I did a behind the scenes video about that. Everyone who watched that video was very positive about it. So all my doubts about is my English good enough? Do people like it when I make English spoken videos instead of Dutch? And that video really confirmed that I was in a good direction. There was no one really talking about going back to Dutch and there were more people watching than ever so that was a good thing. Thank you so much for coming guys, it was so nice to have you in Toronto. Then I made some more videos in English, uh, one about Bali. No, no way! <laughs> you, you always make it yeah, yeah. The group I was with was a group of influencers from all over the world and they were really amazing. I met so many cool people, made new friends. All right, astronauts. Ah, thank you. <laughs> so the second video I made in English was also for me a success and also proved that English is the right direction. <laughs> it's better than I expected. After that, I did some more traveling. I flew to Dubai. This is where the magic happens. Uh, I never had this on a plane. I've seen this before once in my life, but then I was not allowed to come here, so I sneaked in and then I got kicked out. But now I'm actually allowed to walk here. Really an amazing experience. Also, Dubai is amazing. What? And that whole trip was really, really cool. And then I made a video about the International Influencer Awards in Monaco. Good day to you, my friends. We're here in another new place, on another new trip. We're in Monaco again. I've met some of my online heroes <laughs> And I'm very excited for this, this is very, very like proper, isn't it? Congratulations! Thank you so much, thank you! And again, changing from Dutch to English got me to places that I would have ha wouldn't have been uh, if I stayed Dutch It was really cool to meet all the people there What a night! The Influencer Awards were great It was amazing! But then, I made a decision that kind of changed my life. They asked me to join a TV show called Temptation Island. Temptation Face Up. And if you don't know the show, it is like a relationship test, but then manipulated, so you will always fail. Thomas, deze vuurpijl is for you. It is a stupid show, it might have been in some ways a stupid decision to join the show but in the end I broke up with my girlfriend but the positive side, I've learned so much of that show. I've learned about relationships, I've learned about how TV works and how fake things are and how they try to manipulate and also for me personally there were big lessons in the whole thing that has happened there. Op de emotie. Van onze vrouwtjes in te spelen. I will have trust issues now with relationships, but I will also be a better man myself in my next relationship. We zijn echt helemaal gek. Ze staan gewoon bijna te kwijlen. Ze weten niet waar ze moeten. So I've learned a lot, and it was also a very popular show. So people all over the country will have or had opinions about it. A lot of them were positive. Uh, I get a lot of positive feedback. People laughing, smiling at me in the streets saying hi to me when I walk down the street and they're all very positive but I got also a lot of negative response and you can say whatever but that does something to you. I was not really happy about how this show all worked out 
uh, in a way. But now, after a couple of months and the show is done and everything is gone, <laughs> I'm back and I'm happy again and it's all cool now because people see that it's only a TV show and they don't take everything too seriously and for me the same thing. Um, I don't take it too seriously anymore. So big lesson learned there but there was another thing that I did uh, and that was because the show was in Dutch and very popular here in the Netherlands uh, I changed my YouTube channel back to Dutch because I wanted to make a show on YouTube about uh, talking about the show. A lot of people watched it but it was in Dutch because it didn't make any sense to do that in English because the show was in Dutch. Everyone who watches it was Dutch and all the guests in my YouTube show were also Dutch. So that's why my YouTube channel changed back from English to Dutch. You may know that I used like six months or something, the last six months, to clear my mind and to I don't know, find out what I really want. Do I want to continue in Dutch or in English? I had made up my mind uh, half a year before that and it was a success, but still I went back because, I don't know, maybe different reasons. I was still a bit scared for the big step to change to English, I guess. And, um, well, some things just make more sense in Dutch because that's where I live and well when I'm on a TV show it makes more sense but that's also a lesson learned I have to really choose something and go for that and not stay in between two things and that's what I did for the last couple of months I wanted to change things up and what happened that was I bought a house my relationship was over and I got a new house a new fresh start and it needed a lot of rebuilding redecoration and I completely renovated the whole the whole thing <laughs> Some really small details still have to be done, but like 99% it's completely done and well, this is my office. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I will, I will make a video doing a tour of the end result of my house and it will come very soon. Working on the house was like therapy for me. It was quite a big project and it took some time and I like working on things and making things and building things and it cleared my mind from the stuff from the TV show. It made me slowly realize what I really wanted to do. I also realized that I wasn't there yet so I needed some more time and when I'm not sure what to do I go traveling. I joined the Cannonball Run Rally. <laughs> That is a supercar rally with like crazy supercars who went all over Europe and it was a really cool experience to join that. It also involved helicopters. <laughs> big ticket because I was speeding uh, like really fast in Germany and yeah police got me. Good day. Are you speaking Dutch? Uh, ambition. Ambition? Yeah. Good. Perfect. You must pay 610. Do we do it for 550? No, no, we no, no, no discussion. Then I went to Berlin, uh, also Germany, also got in trouble with the police. You're getting a fine now. No, we bought, uh, we bought this. Hey, come here. Run. Again, that was a trip with a lot of international influencers and also English was the way to connect to all of them. And that made me slowly realize that I wanted to go back to English again. In two weeks or something, I had 
I got in trouble with the police two times in Germany, both of the times, and it is not really cool to get in trouble with the police. So, um, I, I needed to score some karma points and I did some karaoke with the elderly for charity. <laughs> So all the problems with the police were done, my karma was back on point and I still didn't really know what to do with my life <laughs> and my YouTube channel. And then I went on another really cool trip. I went to the Formula One Monaco Grand Prix. And I've said it before, there's a good friend of mine who organizes trips to the Formula One uh, Monaco Grand Prix. If you want to go there, uh, check the link below. Stotzi, uh, this guy does the best things in Monaco. Mr. Stotzi himself! What up? Nice man. Well, if you ever want to go there, it doesn't have to be crazy expensive. If you want to go there, if you want to make it expensive, it's also possible. This guy organizes it. Go to Stotzi, it's down below in the description. Then later on in the year, I did some more traveling. I went to Marmaris in Turkey. That trip made me realize that I'm very happy that I can do this for a job to go traveling and do cool stuff and film that and that th those things are my big passions traveling making videos and I realized that I'm very fortunate that I can do that so I'm very thankful for that and I also realized that I, if I want to do this more often and keep on doing this I need to as I've said a hundred times now because I'm traveling all over the world it makes more sense to do this in English and I like to do the travel part and the filming cool stuff part more than talk about the stupid TV show in Dutch in the Netherlands. So after that I went to Egypt, a country that I've never been before. Then a friend of the trip from Bali came to the Netherlands and I showed her around. Hi, I'm Kat. And we met in Bali. Yes. With the influencers. And I can understand what he's saying. So just <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, that video was still in Dutch, but partly English because she is from the Philippines. So. It was a bit like sometimes when I talked to her it was English and when I talked to the camera it was in Dutch. Also something that really didn't make sense to me. The realization point that English is the way to go. <laughs> Coming up to the end of the year I did some more traveling. Uh, England, Sheffield, really cool outdoor sports and stuff. <laughs> And after that, Peru. Hello, baby. 
baby. Oh, that's a rosewarm. Yeah, baby. Yes. <laughs> There's one in my uh, in my suit. I went to places that were not the most visited by tourists. Like if you go, if you think of Peru, most people think of Machu Picchu. But we went to the other side of Peru, to the north, and explored that. And and again, that made me realize that I'm very happy that I can do that for a living. Het ziet er ook gewoon helemaal uit als een kavia. Hey. Yo. <laughs> Ik ga er een aan. Ik ga er I also went to the US. Uh, with Dan Stotz from Stotzy, the guy who organizes the trips to the Formula One of Monaco. Everybody has a passion. My passion is motorsports. During this road trip, we will interview race car drivers people who work at racetracks and other folks in the supercar and motorsport industry. You'll hear the stories of how their passion started and where it got them. Joining me in this trip is my Dutch friend Thomas Cox. He's a well-known YouTuber, TV presenter and also very passionate about cars and motorsport. We even raced each other in 2007. Neither the trip nor the interviews were planned ahead to show you that everything is possible when you just go out and do it. There are no videos on my channel about it, but there are, cha there are videos on his channel about it. I will also link that down in the description or you can click here to see it. We went there on a trip to prepare for new ideas. We have some ideas around race car driving, but really cool stuff. So we went to Miami and then went up in Florida and all the way to Indianapolis to visit racetracks there. So Sebring, Indianapolis, Daytona. We and that was a preparation for a new idea, which hopefully works out and you will see this year already on this channel. So that was my year. And now this video is again a video that will confirm that I will stay English. I needed the year to learn a lot, to learn about myself, learn about the world, learn about everything. and learn about relationships and uh, and I was constantly thinking about okay what do I do do I want to make Dutch videos or English videos if I look at what I like most which was really a discovery for me for this year in the end English makes more sense to me some videos are really well watched and well if you look at it like the English videos are doing pretty good so it's YouTube you never know with the algorithm I think it's very important to keep uploading so I really hope that I can hold on to that now and I have many video ideas that I already uh, recorded so that are really coming and I've also things planned. There's a winter holiday coming and I'm going to a tropical island real soon so there are some really cool things coming. Thank you for an amazing year. Without you guys it wouldn't be possible and also that is a bit of a cliche but cliches are there because they're true. So thank you and hopefully this year will be an even better year than last year but I really enjoyed last year, so thanks. Don't forget to subscribe because there will be a new video on this channel very soon.